Welcome everyone to NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. Hi everyone, here with analysts Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg. I'm Brian Anderson, Allie LaForce, our reporter. Now the starting group for the visitors. Boyan Bogdanovich out there with Duran. Then it's Darius Garland, and it's Turner in at the three, the small forward. And for the 76ers, at forward, it's Harrison Tucker. James Harden out there with Maxi, and it's Embiid in at the five, roaming the paint. Maxi against Garland. With some arc. Duran, no good. Now Philadelphia with it. Three pointer, Harden. Duran with the rebound. Garland scanning the floor. The shot, no good. Some solid defense from Maxi. And Philadelphia calls time here. Bamba's checked in for Philadelphia. And one of the more imposing guys at the center position, Joel Embiid. As unique a player as we've got in the league in terms of his size, just mammoth, and his agility and skill level. So special for a guy of his size. His production is absolutely crazy. Perennial MVP candidate now and perhaps for several years to come. Here's Fisher. Cut X from downtown. Fisher. Fisher proving how deadly he is as a catch and shoot guy right there. And so it's Harden with it. He brings it up for the 76ers. From deep. The rebound by Garland. Harden's gone one for three on the night. The floater. Here's Duran. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Well, I love the way he goes after it there. I mean, you've got to respect that. He's rewarded for his efforts of pursuing the ball. Harris up top. Inside. Here's Bamba. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Harris spots the opening and helps his team exploit it. First quarter, just over a minute and a half in. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. That one on Tucker. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. Two shots. And so Bogdanovich nails them both. You know, you look at Bogdanovich, and this guy is really outstanding at taking high percentage shots, and he's got what I call a natural scoring ability and mentality. Now here's Maxi. Off target from three-point range. Garland, the pass to Bogdanovich. And then Bogdanovich with the dunk. Yeah, great vision. I mean, this is where Garland takes it to another level offensively. Maxi against Garland. Maxi attacking. Out to Harris. Gets the three to fall. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. Perhaps he's set for a big night. I mean, he can be a difference maker for him when he's on his game. Here's Fisher. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Maxi with it. He's picked up by Garland. Maxi passes to Bamba. And Fisher pulls it down. And stolen by Bamba. And it's in there. Well, he's a very effective scorer from there. Bamba's excellent at using his size to his advantage. Pass to Durham. And here in the first, about three minutes in. Bogdanovich with a screen on Bamba. Here's Durham. And he drops in the layup off the glass. 
Duran's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, he's going to work early on the offensive glass. He's so amped up. How about early attack mode? I love the approach he's coming to this game with. Really strong. Maxi, that's good. You know, Maxi finds all kinds of ways to score, and he knows only one speed. Flat out, all out. Pass to Turner. Back to Garland. Bogdanovich on the wing. Here's Duran. Out to Garland. Five to shoot. Duran. Pass to Turner. Over Harris. Turner, no good. Boy, you've really got to put those away, especially against soft interior defense. Harris down low, working on Duran. Bamba. And connects on the nine-footer. Bamba's got six. Great to see Bamba shooting while in rhythm. Shots like this will only help his confidence. Nice shot by Turner. Man, what a pass that was there. He really, really relishes making the game easier for his teammates. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first. To the middle. Here's Harris. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Boy, Tucker ever unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. Here's Fisher. Pass to Turner. Here's Fisher. Defended by Harden. That one falls. He's got five. No idea what they were thinking there defensively. I mean, that's a shot he makes often. And here's Harden. He'll bring it up for the 76ers. There's 21 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Here's Bamba. Duran with a rebound. Duran's got his fifth rebound in this one. Outside Bogdanovich. Launches a three. Knocks it down from distance. Hey, one of his main jobs is to knock down threes and Fisher help spread the defense by doing so. The first quarter all wrapped up, and it's been an exciting game so far. The Philadelphia 76ers up three. Good action already in this one, but a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. And what do you guys think about the visitors here in this one? Well, it's pretty obvious. I mean, cashing in on extra opportunities. That's how they built this early lead. Boy, grinding it out on the glass. They've really been working for those points. A moment here for an injury report. All right, let's get an update on Joel and B. What's the status, Allie? Hey, guys, I spoke with the head athletic trainer for Philadelphia. Unfortunately, the injury looks pretty serious. Okay, Allie, thank you. Boy, this injury definitely looks like it could be serious, guys. Uh, here's hoping it's not, but yeah, this team may have to get used to playing without him for a bit. And in the training room, guys, I mean, that is not going to be an easy injury to bounce back from. We've got Tobias Harris, Maxi out there with Darius Garland. Then there's James Wiseman, and it's Trent in at the small forward position. And Grant, while James Harden is no stranger to trade requests, the Sixers front office, no stranger to him either. And they've shown the patience to wait for the right deal before. In the meantime, there's the business of winning games. Pass to Korkmaz. Now here is Harold. Ooh, rejected by Wiseman. Going all the way to the rack. Here's Harris. And Reed pulls it down. Second quarter of basketball. About a minute played so far. Count the basket. And Beverly is a tricky player. I mean, somebody who has so many different shots to choose from. Here's Maxi. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. James Harden picks one up. All right, guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. Well, great play down low. I mean, you expect the defense to adjust, collapse maybe, but that should open up things on the perimeter later in the game. They've also displayed a real unselfishness as a team, moving the basketball well, sharing the rock, and giving everybody a chance to participate in the offense. And that one drops. All the talk is about Harden scoring, but I'll tell you what, he can dish that rock too. 
Second quarter, a little over a minute and a half in. Maxi with it, now guarded by Beverly. Turner passes to Wiseman. Back to Turner. And that one drops for him. Just too good a player to leave open. Turner's gone two of four shooting. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Maxi against Harden. Out to Beverly. Oh, trying his luck from deep. The rebound by Maxi. And it's Garland on the drive. And finished off by Garland. Now put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, these teams trading punches right now. I mean, it's table tennis. Back and forth we go. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second. Pass to Reed. And here's Beverly. Five points in the game. Now here is Harold. Harden from outside. The shot off that time. Out to the right wing. Turner finds Maxi. Goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Maxi's got four points in the quarter. Not just a perimeter threat now. Maxi very adept at converting in close, too. And Philadelphia calls time here. Both teams will make substitutions. One fifty-seven left in the second quarter. Tucker, no good. They've been taking care of business. Especially at the offensive end, where they've been totally in sync. Nice shot by Turner. Selfless pass there from Maxi. Really able to handle the guard position quite well. Now Harden. To win the run. Duran with the rebound. Duran's got his seventh rebound here tonight. Pass to Fisher. To the paint. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And adding to this lead right now. Riding a wave of momentum. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. Harden with it. Here's Embiid. Duran with the rebound. Duran's got rebound number eight now. Spins. Joel Embiid with the board. And so it's Maxi with it. He brings it up for Philadelphia. Seven point differential. There's 42 seconds left in the first half. Turner, no good. Maxi on the wing. Maxi covering to the inside. And Embiid fires it home. Well, Maxi continues improving as a facilitator, finding these opportunities to get the ball moving. Here's Fisher, defended by Harden. Duran to the post. In beats there. Duran with the bucket. And the defense no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Up top, Embiid. Pass to Tucker. Fires it. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. You know, when you're guarding Tucker, you've got to account for his jump shot. I mean, if you don't, he'll bite you. And he comes up with a bucket. And just shredding apart the defense with his passing. He's helping to pace this offense so well. You know, numbers don't always tell the story, guys, but his assist totals do paint the picture here. I mean, he's got everybody involved. And so it's the Bronx closing out the quarter with a seven-point lead. Their key to consistency has been their dominance in the paint. They've been the more physical team. We'll be back in a moment.
And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Now Philadelphia with it. They trail by seven. Tucker and Embiid make up the front court. James Harden out there with Maxi, And it's Harris in at the small forward position. That's the group for Nick Nurse getting going here in the second half. Here's Embiid. Durin with a rebound. When you're wide open like that, no need to fade away. Bogdanovich down low. Checked by Tucker. Back to Bogdanovich. Garland, the pass to Bogdanovich. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Here's Maxi over Garland. And it's Maxi missing. Turin in the post. Harris on him. Turin with the bucket. Nice look there from Bogdanovich. The shooter keeping an eye peeled and open for the open man. Here in this third quarter, just over a minute play. Harden, the pass to Embiid. The ball goes to the away team. Timeout, timeout. Timeout away team. Fans, please give a big round of applause for your fans. Has checked in for the Bronx. Tobias Harris comes in for Bogdanovich. And with a little over a minute gone by, the second half is underway. Here's Turner. No good that time. Good D by Harris. Down low. Here's Tucker. The rebound by Turner. Tucker's gone one of three shooting so far. Harris outside. Turner against Tucker to the middle. The shot by Fisher, no good. You know, Clark, P.J. Tucker has really made a name for himself and done that on the defensive end. I just love his story, the journey that he took to get to this point. I mean, he circumvented to Europe for several years, became a three-point shooter, and defensively is where he hangs his hat, and that's where he's made his greatest impact, doing the dirty work to help championship teams win. Well, we talk about the value of great win protection. That's a shot he typically makes. Harris misses. Garland finds Bamba. And here's Harris. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Fisher. And the three off target. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for the 76ers. They've only allowed two points so far in the second half. Tucker doing a nice job getting it done from there. Tucker's gone two of four from the field. Embiid with a steal. Tucker, no good. Two minutes remaining in the third. Embiid against Bamba. There's a minute 54 left in the third quarter. Excellent D there from Embiid. Now Philadelphia with it. It's a five-point game. Nice shot by Harden. Harden's got five points. Defense has problems with Harden inside. He can make those close shots appear easy. Garland, the pass to Harris. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. That one on Tucker. That's his second personal foul. First team foul. That one misses. In overtime, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility. And that's part of learning how to be a leader. Bamba's checked in for Philadelphia. Beverly comes in for Tyrese Maxey. Bogdanovich has checked in for the Bronx. Maxey comes in for Darius Garland. Harden against Maxey. Now here's Harden. Guarded closely. Can't get it to drop. Some solid defense from Maxey. And it's Turner that time on the assist by Maxey. 
Give him eight. Sometimes with that much of a height advantage, resistance is futile. Wiseman, he's checked in for the Bronx. Trent comes in for Turner. First team foul. Coming on to the floor for the away team. James Wiseman. 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Sinks the trade. Tucker's got five points now in the quarter. Hey, one of the strongest part of Tucker's game is knocking down that three-point shot. He doesn't need much space to get it off. Harris misses. End of quarter management here. They can go two for one. Make the math work in your favor. Beverly finds Harden. 29 seconds left to play in the third quarter of basketball. Pass to Bamba. Just four to shoot. Wiseman with a steal. And they're on the break. Here's Harris. Finished off the break. Boy, so smooth and fluid with the rock in his hands. It's clear Harris enjoys making these kinds of moves. And I like watching them, too. And they call an illegal screen here. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows, or they'll call it. The third quarter comes to a close. The Sixers up by five. And fourth quarter basketball will be coming your way on 2K Sports right after this. And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. Terrific versatility coming from a big man. Not something that the majority of big guys possess. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Darius Garland is out there with Maxi. Then there's Tobias Harris. Then there's Gary Trent. And it's Wiseman in at the center position. And it's Maxi missing. Maxi's gone one for three from the field here. Wiseman with a steal. And here they go on a free run to the bucket. Ripped down the breakaway slam. Scoped out the turnover, ran out ahead of the play, and Maxi finished things off nicely. Maxi's gone two of four so far tonight. Pass to Bamba. Three pointer. Fires in the triple. And the defense is looking almost lost on the perimeter. That opens up a quality three point shot, and he delivers. I think that might have been intentional. Perhaps it was not an accident because he's typically not the guy that's taking that shot at this stage of the game. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Bamba. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Hey guys, well, Quinn Snyder was just reviewing the plan with the team. He told his guys to stay after it, to not get complacent and lazy with this lead. He wants them to keep adding to it. We'll see if they're able to do it, guys. Great work, Allie, thanks. Garland, pass to Maxi. Shot clock at six. Oh, denied by Harold. You know, when Harold does a good job with his positioning defensively, he can block some shots. Solid job right there. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Just three to shoot. Stolen by Melton. They push it up four on three. Beverly outside. Pass to Embiid. Over Wiseman. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Embiid's gone two of five from the field here. Back to Trent. Now Garland, heavily defending. Trent for three. It's hauled in by Beverly. Here's Melton. Fires from deep. No good there. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Wiseman inside. His first shot attempt. Oh, look at Wiseman. All the tools inside. Sensational ball movement there. When you pass the ball like that, good things happen. And Philadelphia calls time here.
Beverly, he's checked in for Garland. On defense, the visiting team. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Tucker with the ball. Now guarded by Beverly. It's stolen by Trent. And they're on the run. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. That one's off. Fitting for the away team, Gary Trent Jr. Two shots. And he's good on the second. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. Up top, Embiid. Guarded by Wiseman. Off target with the three. Every possession counts for them right now. That's not going to get it done. Can't connect from short range. Coach loves the execution. Just not the result. That's okay. That's part of the process. And the foul on Gary Trent. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Maxi, a good look. And it's Wiseman with the rebound. Maxi's gotten just one of his four attempts from the floor tonight. Trent with it. Picked up by Embiid. To the paint. Here's Reed. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Reed's got his first points of the game. And so it's Maxi who brings up the ball for Philadelphia. They trail by nine. Wiseman with a steal. Maxi against Maxi. Pass to Trent. Now here's Wiseman. The kick out to Maxi. Let's the three fly. The shot no good. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Harris outside. Now Maxi beyond the arc. And no good. And, you know, the defense to me looked like they were okay to let him prove he could make that shot. Reed goes in. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Outside Harden. With the drive. The kick out to Maxi. Here's the three. And Tucker gets it to go. Their strategy has been pretty simple here in the second half. Attack from three-point range. Certainly. I mean, they saw a weakness in the perimeter defense and took advantage of it. The visitors with the ball. So far in the fourth, they've allowed just six points. Bogdanovich, that's good. You can count on Fisher to find the open man. Excellent vision and IQ. 52 seconds left in the game. Harden against Beverly. Right side, Maxi. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. Tyrese Maxi with a big time play down the stretch. And now they decide to foul intentionally. Tyrese Maxi. That's his first personal foul. Second team. There's 38 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Nice attention to detail on defense. Harden showing he wants to improve on this end of the court. And here's Harris outside. The shot misses, and he commits the intentional foul. Joel Embiid. That's his first personal foul. Third team foul. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Taking two shots. And he cannot convert on the second. That misses. Man, I tell you, you really have to appreciate how much Beverly hustles. He plays hungry and with an edge. He's skilled, though, on both ends of the floor in addition to that. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. No, you got a foul. I mean, it's going to come down the free throws here. Foul right away. So he goes two for two at the line. And it's a six-point ball game. 
you know, important for him to come through at the line there because they want to expand that lead. And Philadelphia calls time here. They're down by six. 17 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And they go to the intentional foul. Tobias Harris. That's his second personal foul. 15 fouls. He gets the first. And that makes it a seven-point lead. Hey, you can't judge a book by its cover, nor can you judge Derek Fisher by his size. He's a lot stronger than he looks and has deceptive athleticism for his build. For three, Maxi Can't hit that one. And here's Turner. Misses there. The visiting club takes the win on the road. Boy, a nice win on the road. By the time this one was winding down, this building was stone cold silent. And that's exactly what you got to do. You have to try to take the crowd out of it. And that'll do it, folks. For Clark Kellogg, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson. And as we leave, we give you our New Balance player of the game, Jalen Duran. Who gon' save me now?